Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Adi Pordillo with Envato Tuts Plus and in this quick tip I'm going to show you a very cool trick that will allow you to handle overflowing text with CSS. I prepared a very simple demo for you so let's begin. But before we do that I want to quickly tell you about Envato Elements. With one subscription, you'll have unlimited access to logos and fonts, but also to millions of other digital assets like stock photos and videos, HTML landing pages, WordPress themes, and more. Subscribe now with the link in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. Right here, we have three cards, and inside each one, there is an avatar, a title, and an email address. Now the email address, as you can see, it's very, very long and it's one string. And because I have my cards set up the way they are, they have a fixed width. And there are a lot of situations where you will encounter this type, this type of pattern, right? You're using a grid or maybe you're limited for space and you can't just uh, let that element accommodate like the entire width of its children. In which case you would need to set it with a fixed width. In any case, because we have a fixed width, this text, because it's so long it, and it can't be broken down, it just kind of overflows, right? It goes on to the next card and the one from the second one goes to the next and we just have a big mess right here. How do we deal with this? Well, it's very simple. If I look at the HTML, the problematic text is inside a paragraph with a class of email. So in CSS, we can target the email and we can say this, text overflow, we'll set it to ellipsis, but as you can see, that does nothing right now but we can also set an overflow to hidden on the actual text. So now we can see the ellipsis right here and the overflow is hidden. It doesn't show up outside of the boundaries of this element. And this is exactly what we want. You'll notice that if I now change the width of my uh, card to let's say 12 rems, this also works. It will adapt itself to the width of its parent. And that's all there is to it. Now, one other um, tip here would be to add uh, this long piece of text as a title on that element because when it's truncated like this, uh, you can also hover with your mouse over it and you can see that in its entirety. Other than that, it's really simple. You don't need any JavaScript to do the truncating. You just need these two properties. Text overflow, you set it to ellipsis, and overflow, you set it to hidden. Now, as far as browser support goes, you won't have any problems. If we go to can I use, text overflow, as you can see, it's green all around, and the regular overflow is supported in all browsers partial support, but um, the one that we're interested in, so overflow hidden, is fully supported. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? It's a, a very simple yet very useful technique. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Adi, and until next time, take care.